Do you think there's a chance between you and Sabrina? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Trill Sussman. I'm back in the game. Shots in the middle, my head on phone. Talking real crazy. What's good, YouTube, man? It is your boy Trill Sussman. I'm back at it again. You know what I'm saying? I'm turn this brightness a little. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You know what I'm saying? Cause they look a little sexy. You know what I'm saying? So look, man. Um, today is gonna be a very chill. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be a very chill video. Um, you know what I'm saying? Hold up. Since so it's gonna be a chill video. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You know what I'm saying? Since today a chill video, you know what I'm saying? Gotta go on ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy with it. So look, today I'm gonna be doing a Q&A. A lot of you guys have been telling me to do this because I posted on my Twitter and on my Instagram what video do you guys wanna see? And majority of the questions were the answers, you know what I'm saying, was you should do a Q&A. So, um, yeah man, so I just went on Instagram, Twitter, I had a whole bunch of y'all just sending me questions or whatever, and this is last minute. So I got a few questions, but I don't think I got that many. I don't know. Well, I got enough. I got enough. But um, before we get into this, man, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, man. And we about to just go on ahead and just jump straight into this Q&A. I haven't did one of these in a minute, but oh well, you know, go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So um, the first question is, have you ever thought about being a rapper? You know what's crazy is I used to, like when before I did YouTube, before YouTube like my passion and stuff, I used to want to rap. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that bad at it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy. But yeah, I actually have a song. You know, I have a song. It was me and my brother and I was like 16 or 17. If I get like 200 likes, I'll play it. I'll show y'all. But, um, have I ever thought about it? Actually, yeah. And that was another thing. I'm going to just throw it out there. You know what I'm saying? Um. I was talking to a DDG manager or whatever, and he was like, you know what I'm saying, I should, I should try and rap, you know, so I should start rapping. So, you know what I'm saying, your boy might be going out to LA in a minute, you know what I'm saying, I got some meetings, you know what I'm saying, so, y'all just, I'm gonna just hit y'all with something crazy, y'all just like, damn, you know what I'm saying, so, next question, um, are you and Kennedy Ray still homies? Yes, me and Kennedy, well, we not homies, but we cool, you know what I'm saying, we got you know what I'm saying? If we see each other, we already know what's up. You know what I'm saying? So we cool. But, um, yeah, it says, are you still going out to LA to collab with DDG? Yes, I actually plan on going out there uh, probably in a month. I plan on going out there in like in a month or maybe sooner. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it's just how, how it go. You know what I'm saying? For everything, I don't know what I was about to say. But, uh, yeah, so um, are you going to do reaction videos again? I'm not no really no reactor, you know what I'm saying, to be like for you to even say that. But I mean, I would, you know what I'm saying, if there's something lit up there that I want to react to, you know what I'm saying, I might go on ahead and just throw a reaction. But for the most part, I like vlogging. You know what I'm saying? That's where my passion is. My past I don't want to be known as somebody like doing reaction videos. You know what I'm saying? I want to be known for vlogging, like y'all messing with me because of me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, are you completely over Sabrina? Um, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, nah. You know what I'm saying? I'm over her, like I'm not, like I'm not gonna blow her phone up. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm over that stage, you know, but completely over her, nah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But um, that's gonna come with time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not really tripping off of that, you know. Uh, what age did you wanna have kids? I want to have, I really, you know what I'm saying, I'm not even going to lie to you, I, would, I wouldn't be, like, I wouldn't mind, like, having, like, a little trill saucy running around as well, you know what I'm saying, like, because I know for a fact that me and him, like, if it's a boy, I want a boy, I'm not going to lie to you, but I do want a girl, but I want a boy first, so if I was to have, like, like a little me running around as well, like, he going to be so lit, I swear to God. He's going to be the coolest dude ever. Like, I know that for a fact. Just because how my personality is, if I was to have, like, a little me running around this motherfucker, bro, I'm telling you, we're going to be lit. We're going to be, I almost said turning up. I don't think you should be turning up with, nah, that's not, I don't think that's, nah. What am I saying? Oh, my God, what the hell? Um, are you 
going to start being friends with girls and doing videos with them again. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, like I just want to have friends. Like, if they girls, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, hanging out, hanging out with your homie, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, like, hanging out with your niggas and shit. But, like, it's going to come a point where it's like, I want to be around a girl. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you don't want to just be hanging out with your homie. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of lame. So yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna have like females in the videos, but it's gonna be strictly like I'm gonna let y'all know this. I'm gonna let y'all know this right now. Um, if you see any female in my video, we strictly friends. It's not nothing more than that. Not nothing less than that. We're strictly friends because I don't want people like getting like the wrong idea. Like if I bring a girl in my video and she might be in my video for like two or three times. You know what I'm saying? Don't think nothing's going on because honestly, I'm not ready for another relationship. I'm not gonna lie to you. And the reason I say that is because um, this is going back to like when y'all was like, "Am I over Sabrina?" I'm over Sabrina, but I know if I was to get in another relationship with somebody else right now, as of right now, and then Sabrina hit me up, I'm going to text her back. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like as of right now, it's not another girl that could like fill a void, you know what I'm saying? Like where she was like, where she meant to me is not gonna be another girl that can feel that right now. You know what I'm saying? Later on in the future, you know what I'm saying? Like give me like a couple months, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, you know what I'm saying? But as of right now, no, and I don't wanna leave no girl alone. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know for a fact, if I was to get with a girl right now, or like, you know what I'm saying? Get like that, it, it's not gonna end well for her. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna try to like lead somebody on. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just what's going. That's just what's going to happen. Because if she hit me up, I'm, I'm gonna text her back, and I know I would, even though I'm like talking to her still. It's just like I just rather not do it. I rather not get in a relationship until I know for a fact she can hit me up, and I'd be like, all right, well, I'm not talking to you type stuff. But yeah, um, it's definitely gonna be more female friends in my videos. You know what I'm saying? What is your relationship pet peeve? Ooh, this, this is a good one. Um, my relationship pet peeve is probably lack of communication. Probably, because I feel like that is the biggest key in a relationship. So I feel like that's my biggest pet peeve. Because if you don't know how to communicate, you know what I'm saying, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? I can't read your mind. You know what I'm saying? So since I can't read your mind, that is something that's out of my control. You know what I'm saying? So I need for you to tell me what I'm doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? This neck pillow is low-key cold as hell. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, that's probably my biggest pet peeve between that and really just like not receiving what I'm putting out. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have a problem with doing it first, but as long as I'm getting it back, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not because I'm not doing it because I want to get something out of it. It's just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm trying to communicate, you should try and communicate. You know what I'm saying? Just simple, simple stuff like that. Uh, do you still love Sabrina? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I still have, I'm always have love for Sabrina. It's never going to change. Um, even if I do get in another relationship because, you know what I'm saying? Like, the memories me and Sabrina had, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like that's, like, I can't let that change. And then that's another thing, like, with our memories, like, since this whole breakup situation that happened, I don't know about her, but literally what makes me, like, like, really think about her or whatever, it's just like the memories we didn't have. Like I only think of good stuff. Like it's crazy. Like I like I think about the recent arguments that we had, but I do not think of like I can't think of nothing other than like happy stuff we did. And that's crazy because it's like it's kind of like weird in a way. Because like all our old arguments, the big arguments arguments we ever had, I don't think about it. Like I don't even remember it. It's just the recent stuff I do, I remember. But yeah, I still got love for Sabrina. Um, when do you think you'll be ready for a serious relationship? Um, honestly, I'm probably not going to get in another relationship anytime soon. Like, it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be a while before you see me in a real relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, like, I'm still, I guess you could say stuck on her in a way, but, um, I'm not stuck on her. Like I, like, I know that for a fact about me. I'm not stuck on it. Like, I can, like, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be cool. But um, me actually moving on and getting another relationship, I don't think I'm ready for that. Until it has to be somebody who's very like who matches me completely. You know what I'm saying? Like relationship-wise, but like when it comes to like talking, communicating, all that other stuff, man. But um, yeah, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm gonna be ready for a minute. And uh, will you and Sabrina ever get back together? Y'all asking a lot of questions about my relationship. You know what I'm saying? But no, um, it's cool. Uh, do I think me and her ever get back together? Nah, I don't think we will because that's just the way it's looking in reality. But like, if on my end, I feel like if we was to like, cause me and Sabrina, we ended our relationship bad like it went all the way south like it went that opposite on how it should have went but um i honestly i honestly don't know i honestly i i, I can't tell you that's just something that like the time is going to just have to go its course because i don't i don't I honestly don't think it will but if we was to actually talk you know what i'm saying like sit down and have like an adult conversation then I could see it going somewhere later on. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we would be cool. Me and her, me and her would have to be cool for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't want to date. You know what I'm saying? I would want us to just be cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's all for real. I don't want to get back with her. I just rather us just be cool. And if it happens, it happens. If we don't, it don't. Because at the end of the day, she still was an amazing person. So I still. Cause that's another thing. Me and Sabrina, we had a best friend relationship. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like us having a best friend relationship, and it's weird because we had a best friend relationship and we had like going together relationship. And I feel like the way we would act were kind of like, it, it's weird, it's hard to explain it, but um, yeah, guess I'm just going on to the next question. You know what I'm saying? But um, how does your family feel about the breakup? Dang, y'all know a lot. Um, my family, they neutral, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's how they always been. If they've been like that, even with the person I was with before it's a brand. Well, mm, I don't know, they kind of closer with some brand, so I kind of take that back. But um, yeah, they neutral, you know what I'm saying? If they see her, like they, I know they still talk to her, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not no bad blood, my family, they still love her. You know what I'm saying? She's still, you know what I'm saying? She's still somebody special. So yeah, um, they feel the same way they did when when I first brought her around, um, do you think there's a chance between you and Sabrina? Uh, it's, it's a chance, maybe, you know what I'm saying? It just depends upon, like how I said, God work, you know. Um, but honestly, I don't know. I, like I said, I just feel like me and her, we would have to have a real deep talk and we would have to become, like, I, I feel like we would have to rebuild our bond, you know what I'm saying? Like. I just feel like we just have to rebuild our bond that we had. But yeah, I do see it, it could be a chance on my end. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to jump, like I said, I don't want to jump straight to the relationship again. I don't want to do that. I'd rather just be cool. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, love Herb or NBA? That's a tough question. Thank you. Uh, to switch up the subject. But um, yeah, uh, probably, I can't lie. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a fan of G Herbo, but I feel like Overall, I feel like NBA might have won. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm a fan of G Herbo, like I fuck with G Herbo heavy, but I feel like overall NBA young boy is cold. You know what I'm saying? Also, turning up, let's get lit type shit, yeah. Because if it ain't, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. It's, if it ain't that, you know what I'm saying? It's probably not. I don't know, man. I don't know. But um, why did you delete? Sabrina YouTube videos. This is a good question. All right, so look, I'm gonna let y'all know why I deleted it. And yes, I did try to sell it. And I did that. Um, now, I'm not gonna say I regretted it, but at the same time, I do kind of regret it. But well, no, I just learned from it. I didn't. I don't regret it at all. I learned from it. Um, it just basically like I did it because I was reacting out of anger. You know what I'm saying? I was really reacting out of anger when I did that. I had. Thought I found out something that was true, but it wasn't true. But at the time, I thought it was true. So 
I deleted her YouTube because I'm like, no, nah, we're not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I deleted it. But now I don't know if it's true or not. But at the same time, I'm like, man, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I should just let her have a YouTube channel. I should just let her do that, do her thing. So yeah, I learned from it. If I can go back in time, I wouldn't do it because I did it out of anger. And that was like, I was, that was something I was taught. You should have never, like, if you're in a relationship or anything in general, you shouldn't do something out of anger. And I feel like the almost the whole relationship. Well, no, I'm not gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. Towards the end of the relationship to now, all that I feel like I've been doing stuff out of anger, and I done stuff, and then I reflected on it, and I'm like, damn, I wish I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably the biggest thing that I'd have probably learned, maybe. But yeah, um, that's why I deleted our YouTube videos because. Basically some petty stuff and I shouldn't have done that. But that's what I learned from it. So um if there was one thing you could say to Sabrina and you was never gonna see her again, what would you say? Ooh, that's a good question. If I was to say something to Sabrina, um I really I really I fuck I can't even talk. That's how nervous I'd be. I'd probably be low key nervous. As if I first met her. But if I could put in a word for him, I'd probably be like, just, you know what I'm saying? Keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep doing everything that you said you were gonna do. Keep keep doing your lash and stuff. But I really would wanna say, like, I really just would wanna, like, talk, but I don't wanna talk, you know what I'm saying? So, if I could say one more thing, like as of right now, the feeling is like this, I'd probably be like, you know what I'm saying? Keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? Um, just shit, don't stop. That's all I can really say. Maybe that, that'd probably be it, man. I, I really don't even know what I could say to her because I'd probably be, you know what I'm saying? Like in a daze almost like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. Um, do you feel bad for people who send in hate to Sabrina? I, don't, I didn't even know Sabrina got hate sent towards her. Honestly, but um, damn, that's no, nah, I don't think she got all these sent towards her for real. Probably like minor stuff, but we both got that, so but I, I don't think she really got no hate. So, um, if she did, that's I don't really know what to say, but damn. Um, what was the lesson that you learned being with Sabrina? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, the lesson I learned, you know what I'm saying, probably. I, re I think I realized almost everything that I was doing wrong in a relationship because I'm not going to speak on Sabrina because that's for her to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's for her to speak on, you know what I'm saying? What she learned and shit like that. But for me, I honestly feel like in our relationship, what I could have did differently, I feel like, um, I don't know, man. I just feel like I, I was some stuff that I was like, like as the days go by and the weeks go by, man, I really realized where, what I've been doing to like mess it up, you know what I'm saying? To make her feel the way she do, you know what I'm saying? I definitely, I definitely can see why she felt like she did the whole time because I know it was some stuff that I do, you know what I'm saying? That'd be small, you know what I'm saying? That I was looking over, you know what I'm saying? That's why I got, like, I got a lot of time to think, like I had a lot of time to think since this breakup, but um yeah man probably like i feel like it's just like small stuff that i was doing you know what i'm saying that like i'm thinking now so i know if we used to get back together even though it's probably it's like this never gonna happen but when my next relationship come i know what not to do you know what i'm saying because it just was like small stuff like just it was like small stuff i do like i i just know it. and it's Sabrina, if you're watching this i know it you know what i'm saying and this is just something that like i'm not trying to turn the tables you know what I'm saying? But this is something that I wish, like what I had to learn, you know what I'm saying? I wish she would have told me because this is how she was feeling and I see why she was feeling like this. And I see why everything happened like it did. But everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got the tattoo on me. But yeah, um, I learned a lot. Like, I just, I just learned a lot, you know what I'm saying? But um, that's really all I got to say, man, for that one. I don't think I have any more questions. But yeah, the lesson I learned, like some shit just like, 
You know what I'm saying? Let her do it. You know what I'm saying? That's probably that's probably the biggest thing that I learned. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I wasn't being controlling, but I kind of was being controlling. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't even control. It was more like being petty in a way. You know what I'm saying? And it was like I don't know, but I see like now I see where I was coming from, and I see where she coming from now. So I'm really seeing it in third person. So yeah. I was kind of like, it was some stuff I'd be doing that was like, bro, why is he doing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, chill out. But, um, yeah, man, I, I learned a lot. So I know my next relationship is definitely, it's definitely going to be 100%. Like, I know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know. I just learned a lot. You know what I'm saying?